so cute and really pretty. Like I said, I did get an extra it. I got a large in the top again, cute color, and it's a spring color, which I this is definitely cheekier than the tryout today. Triangle swimwear, which I literally used to love so much back in 2015. Kulani Kunis, which is kind of growing on Instagram right now, and black bow swimwear, which I think has like over a million on Instagram, which is crazy. I was gonna wait to film this video until, you know, maybe I was like looking my best or maybe right in the morning before I ate any food so I didn't look bloated, but hey, boss trying to eat my bikinis. I figured, you know, the most body positive thing to do would just show my body like middle of the day. Um, was too lazy to put on self tan and this is honestly just supposed to be an informative video so that you guys can get an idea of what kind of swimsuits you wanna buy this year. So let's do this. And if you're a creepy man pop, you can go to a different video because my dad watches these videos. We're obviously not trying to do anything weird on this channel. Let's get started. The more that I look at myself on camera, I'm really thinking that I should go self tan right now. We're gonna try in the first bikini and see if I literally need to go fake tan. But this is the first one from Triangle. This is the Melrose blush top. So Triangle has been doing so many sparkly bikinis and the photos online are so pretty in the sunlight. So I had to get one and this is one strap. And then this one actually comes with a fanny pack, which is so much cooler than the bag that they usually give you. So for sizing references, I got a large top. A lot of the reviews were telling me to size up and hopefully it fits and then for the bottoms, I thought that from the size chart, I should be a small, but they only had extra smalls available. So let's try this on and see if I got the right sizes or not. I'm back. I literally just tried on this bathing suit, recorded a clip, almost had a mental breakdown, and then ran and rubbed self tanner everywhere. So I look a bit deep fried right now, but I don't have two hours to wait. So I'm just gonna go with it. This video makes me nervous if you can't tell. So. This bikini was $79, which is pretty expensive, obviously. And back in the day, I wanted a triangle bikini so freaking bad, but they were so expensive. And nowadays, $79 for a set is actually good in the famous Instagram bikini world. Now it's normal for bikinis to be $79 for the top and then $80 for the bottoms and together you're paying about $200 for a set. So it's crazy how triangle used to be astronomically priced and now it's cheaper, which is wild. It's ridiculous. It's a tiny piece of fabric, but let's review this first one. This is so cute. As you can see the color, it is, I feel like you can't tell, but it is definitely shiny and I feel like in the sunshine it would be really pretty. Like I said, I did get an extra small bottom I was really nervous about and a large top. Really glad I got a large top because even this is like pushing it. I think that the design is naturally like just a thin band and the bottoms actually do fit, thank goodness. They're not even like riding up in the back too much. So that's pretty crazy. Extra small bottoms and a large top. If that doesn't tell you about my proportions, I don't know what does, but it's super stretchy and it's not like that normal neoprene material that Triangle used to do. So overall, I love this one so much and it's got little elastics around to keep it up. It's definitely not like gonna be the most supportive one ever, but I love the color and I'm so glad I got the correct size. So this one definitely makes me feel very cute. So, oh, the fanny pack, I forgot. Let's see how the fanny pack looks. So that's how you wear it. Okay, it looks a little strange on. Maybe with some clothes, this would be an, a nice piece to add, but overall, I just love the fabric. Like, how did they do this? It's so freaking cool. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, this next one is called the Rami Marina Sparkle. It comes in this bag and this material, I'm so obsessed with their sparkly line. I could buy every bikini and be so happy with them. And this one was a total of $89. So let's take a look at her. This is it. I got a large on the top again and an extra small in the bottoms. I love the material of these. They're so elastic and you can definitely like hike these up on your hips as everyone does nowadays because it's just so much more flattering than like straight across. So that's super nice and the cups literally fit perfectly so definitely go a size up if you have any sort of boobs like you're probably going to need to do that but overall the color is so cute i definitely looked in the mirror at my behind and i really like how it looks i feel like it's really flattering so that's good it's not like super cheeky it's not a thong and it's not full coverage it's just like my perfect preferred coverage and i just love the material like it feels super supportive which is definitely difficult to find in bikinis. And I can't wait for it to like sparkle in the sunlight. So I'm really excited to see what these look like 
outside but honestly so far I love Triangle so much which is kind of an issue because they are one of the expensive brands but they're definitely famous for a reason and they've kept up with the trends since 2015 which is crazy to me so I have one last bikini that isn't the sparkly material and we can test that one out too. This next one is called Inisa Spring. I don't really know how to say that. And this one was $99 total. So not sure why this material is more expensive than the other ones. I would have thought that the sparkly bathing suits would be more expensive, but this is the material of this one. It's super soft and ruched, scrunched. I don't really know. And it is kind of pearlescent. So I guess that's why it's expensive. And so far, all of the materials of these bathing suits have been so high quality that I feel like the price makes sense as someone who has a clothing line making custom even just fits is so expensive so for these materials like I feel like this is kind of justified and it's not just overpriced for no reason here is this one I really liked the color of this one someone in the reviews said that it was too neon for their preference but I feel like it's just such a really cute color and it's a spring color which I'm really into spring colors right now and like I said it's super soft and stretchy it's got adjustable straps so that's nice it's full coverage, basically, large top, extra small bottoms. Again, I feel like you could size down in bottoms because I was going to buy a small and I would be really curious to see how that would fit because if it was any more full coverage in the back, I don't think I would like it as much. Um, that sounds kind of bad, but. Triangle, triangle, triangle. I feel like they're my favorite bathing suit company at the moment and I would definitely justify spending the amount of money that I do on their website because the quality is so nice and I honestly just feel so confident in their bikinis. And let me just also say that the shipping was so insanely fast, even though shipping is not supposed to be fast during this time. So that's just insane too. I ordered it on Sunday, the day that Ryan proposed to me actually, and um, I got them on Wednesday. So that's like three business days. And then I got the classic high bottoms and these are a size small and these were $40, so total that would be $95, which is actually more expensive than two of the triangle bikinis, which is kind of surprising. So I've actually already worn this one on my Instagram. As you can see, I just flossed it out of my butt. I think this is definitely cheekier than the triangle bottoms, so I tend to not wear those in front of other people. When it feels like both your butt cheeks are touching, I feel like that's when I know it's too cheeky for me. So I post a picture in it and I don't turn around and then I wear it in private type of thing, you know? But they're super soft and stretchy and you can do that thing where you like hike them up on your hips if you want to. And the top, it's really cute and I really like the style. It looks kind of vintage-y and I love the color, but the only thing is that this part right here and then the cup isn't connected and this cup isn't like a hard cup like the triangle ones like have definition and shape like an actual bra and this one is still just bikini material and so I feel like a couple times even when I was just lounging by the pool alone I felt like I was going to have a nip slip and that's just not something you want to feel so maybe I should have sized up and maybe if you have like any sort of boobage, then this isn't like the greatest and most supportive top for you. Maybe if they had stitched these two parts together, it would have been more supportive because this, this one isn't connected and so it can slip down, if you know what I mean. So that's my only thing about this bikini. And if you're paying that much, you don't really want to worry about a nip slip. Let's do the next one. This next one is the rosy top and bottoms in the color milkshake. And it's actually not on their website yet. And this is part of an upcoming sustainable line in June. And the bikinis are made out of recycled plastic bottles, which is crazy. This is not affiliated with them. They just were really nice and gifted it to me because it's one of their new products. I'm honestly shocked that it's made out of recycled plastic bottles. It's still really soft, like a normal bikini. And I really like the color and the style of it although the top I would definitely size up in because if I turn to the side like you can definitely see the under boobage here and it's kind of barely holding me in and I feel like under boob tends to be a lot more scandalous but I love the design of this one I love the double strap and how it's held up here and I love the color it's just really cool and then the bottoms have that V cut like this which is so trendy right now and I feel like places that aren't doing that are gonna fall behind because I don't feel like many people wear just like the straight across to where the bottoms are here because everyone's like before I actually change the swimsuit I feel like this cover-up set matches the colors the best so this is the Kiki cover-up set and it was $49 total and it comes with this long sleeve mesh top as you can see it ties in the front and then there's this skirt portion and it's 
so long that I have to go back here and then it opens on the side, which is really cute. I really like the design and the opening. I just feel like maybe for my body proportions, since I'm so short, that the skirt would have to be like a little shorter or is that too short? I don't know. I don't even have a mirror, so I can't even tell. Let me just open my front facing camera and see. Okay, yeah, I definitely stand by what I said. I feel like the skirt would have to be a little bit shorter for me to feel confident in this. Interesting. It looks a lot shorter on the model, probably because she is taller than five feet. So next bikini. Next up is the Sophia top in pink lemonade. I think that the design and colors of this one is so cool, but I got this top in a medium and I definitely should have gotten it in a large because I mean, I don't think you can see, but I'm covering up the under boob. It's kind of just like floating in the middle of my boobs and like not covering up all the way. So this is $40 and the bottoms were $40. So another $95 bikini. And I also got the headband with it. Let's see how you wear this. Awesome, I look really good in this. Okay, my head is ginormous apparently, so that doesn't fit. Cool, I really like the design of the top. I feel like the cinching really is flattering and it does have adjustable straps, so that's very good. The whole tie-dye thing is super trendy right now. It's all over websites with bikinis and the bottoms. You know, they're definitely up my butt crack. These are not as full coverage as the triangle one, so that's something to keep in mind. I'm not even sure I would wear this one in public again it does feel like my butt cheeks could potentially be touching again like I said earlier so just something to keep in mind but I know that's preferred for a lot of people so if that's your thing go for it that was the last bikini from black bow swim and I'm really trying to decide what I think about them I really feel expensive and top-notch and so the price kind of makes sense and these ones are even more expensive than those ones and they feel like just sort of like the normal bikini material I'm gonna look up really quickly if they're sustainable because that might play a factor okay I literally can't find if they are sustainable or not so I don't know if they were that would make a lot more sense and that's worth paying the price for I mean if you see a design on there that you really like I think you'll be happy with your bikini but it just depends on whether you want to spend that money or not so last but not least is Kulani Kitties first up we have the minimal bikini top lilac rib I got the top in a large and this was $46 for the top and then the bottoms were $44 and I got this in a size small so this bikini is $90 total. Let's try her on. Here is the first one. Um, first of all, the bottoms, I kept putting them on different ways because I couldn't tell the back from the front. They're just completely the same and there's like no tag or indication of what is what. And they're really thick. This design, it's called Snow Leopard. And this is again, the minimal bikini top and a size large. So even on the model, you can see her side boob. So I probably should have known that was just how it's meant to fit. I feel like a lot of tops show side boobs so if you're fine with that that's that's fine but I just don't prefer it so this top was $46 and then I got the cheeky braided bikini bottoms and those were $44 so these are those I actually got these in a medium for some reason I guess I was just doing a little experiment there's definitely like some room in the front so I would have gone with a small although they literally have cheeky in the name so if you like a cheeky bikini bottom these are cheeky they go right up my booty I really like the design of this one it's the same exact cut so like I said with the previous one all those things apply here but I really like the braided bikini bottoms if they were in my size I'm probably just going through the wash once will fix that for me but I really like the braided sides I really like things that have a thin strap on the side rather than a thick strap so I really like this one and I might let the side boob slide just because I like the pattern so much. That's everything. So my review of Kulani Kinis, they're definitely expensive. I think, is it a Hawaiian brand? I don't know what I'm saying. Like I really don't know if they are. I'm really only just saying that because I found them out from Ava Jewels and Hawaiians, like Ava always says, really do know best when it comes to bikinis. So I trusted her on this one and they're definitely great bikinis, but they are definitely small. So if you like a cheeky bottom, this is the place for you, and if you like a small cut bottom, this is also the place for you.